この思いを消してしまうにはまだ人生長いでしょう Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 63 and last episode Edward, no Alphonse sacrificed himself to give Edward his own back and then Edward and homunculus are facing each other right um Greg figured out that what he wanted all along was friends and I kind of figured that because you know when he was Greg the first grade you know he had all these people around him and when they were dying he was like upset about it but then when father <clears throat> excuse me when father brought him back and he forgot all his friends and everything and then he remember killing the other one you know I don't know just when um Lin Yao was asking him if he really thought that if he had what father had that he would be happy and everything he's like yeah that's the only thing that could feel this emptiness in his heart I knew he was friends like he he wanted he wanted friends and he figured that so yeah uh, last episode like i just couldn't talk about anything else apart from alphonse and what he did so that's what happened last episode and before we get into this one if you guys are my reaction please give it a thumbs up subscribe and please consider supporting on patreon at patreon.com slash theomini and now let's start this episode and here we go Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. It's not done, man. It's not done. People, don't start celebrating too soon. Have you guys learned anything? Uh, see? See? You're his friend. You're his friend. He's not gonna sacrifice his friend.
Sorry I wasn't that talkative during this reaction because I was just feeling a lot of stuff, just feeling emotional throughout this episode and I just did not want to talk. Like I did not want to talk. Like I just I just finished watching episode 62 like a few minutes ago and I was like losing it over Alphonse. So I gave myself a few minutes to come down before starting this episode and then and then we lost greed that got me all emotional again father was losing all his philosopher's stones and he wanted he wanted more so he tried to absorb greed and then Yao was not gonna let him he was fighting against it but because he was fighting against it and because the pull between father and greed was so strong he was absorbing Lin Yao as well and Greed did not want to let that happen so he 
he made y'all believe that they were gonna fight together. But no. He sacrificed himself. He let himself be absorbed by father, but he used his homunculus power, I guess, to make father's body a, a, a form of carbon that can break easily or something or other. And when father realized what was happening, he tried to stop it, but most of his body was all, it was just the head. He pulled greed out a little bit and that's just as Greed was dying and you see the concern on Edward and Ling Yao like their faces and then you see Greed realize that they were that they cared about what happened to him you know and then before he disappeared he called them soul brothers So that already got me emotional. And then when it came to reviving Alphos, and then uh, I don't know who it was, I think one of them, I don't know if I had a philosopher's stone, and one of them was telling of Edward to use it to bring back our phones but because they made a promise not to use a philosopher's stone to bring their bodies back he refused and then who helps <sighs> that he wanted to do he used his the little bit of life that he had left to revive him so when he said that I was already like upset because I didn't want Ho him to die you know he went through a lot and I just wanted him to have to live a happy life with his sons so when he was offering his life for our phones I knew Edward was not going to be okay with it because even if they were to use him and our phones came back it would not make our first happy, you know. So when Edward refused, I felt relieved a little bit. And then Edward kept kept telling himself to think, to think and that there has to be a way to save our first, to bring him back. And then he saw all the people that were there waiting on our force to come back and he had this smile on his face and then he drew a human transmutation circle and I'm like is he about to sacrifice himself like all of himself to bring our force back because that's just <sighs> oh. but no he's he basically sacrificed his ability to use alchemy. So when he got there, I don't know if I truly focused on it before, or maybe I did realize it, but I never actually, I don't know, said anything about it or something. Like when they're facing their version of truth, the truth thing that speaks to them is voiced by the like, it's like, this is Ezra, Edward's truth. That truth, the person that speaks to him sounds like Edward, but with something more added to it. So yeah, he gave up. His gate of truth because they said that on the other side of that gate is alchemy I guess so because he gave that up he was able to bring Alphonse back so that was another whole emotion that was like bubbling inside of me 
And then when he, there's that moment too when Edward called Hohenheim father. Like ever since Hohenheim came back, he's been calling him that Hohenheim, Hohenheim. And then when Hohenheim wanted to sacrifice himself to bring Alphonse back, and he called him dad. So that was also giving me emotions. Like there was so much emotions, so much stuff going on in this episode that I'm like. When I'm feeling emotional like that, I don't like to talk. Like, I don't have the strength to talk. When I'm in my feelings. <laughs> so Alphonse came back with his whole body. Edward has his whole body now. Oh, no, not whole body. He lost a leg too, right? Yeah, he, he lost the leg. I don't think we've seen the leg come back. I don't know if the arm came back. I don't, I don't think the leg come back came back no. the Alphonse came back with his whole body so and then when Hohenham did not sacrifice himself to bring Alphonse back so in my mind I'm thinking okay you now he can live with his two sons you know, and then he goes to Tr Trisha's grave, and then he dies over there. It's like, And the Winry grandmas came and saw him there thinking that he was still alive and then you no. Know, and then when they ended end credits scene is what happened and they were going through all the like through everything. Through how Wuhan became this immortal person, and then he met Trisha, and he had the kids, and then he left the kids, and then came back like you know when he came back the first was it the first time around? I think, no, I think it was the second time around, and then he took the picture, you know, with him, and then you see that scene again where he was being supported by his sons as they were as they were fighting homunculus like seeing all those things again it's like bruh <laughs> this last two episodes i was just crying Right then they showed twin the inquest and they showed um and then Bradley being given the little baby the little bitty bitty seven whatever baby <sighs> But people still believed that Salem and King Bradley were this kind of people, you know, they don't actually know the truth behind their deaths. Their deaths. Now, um, Roy, sort of taking over the government and everything, right? <sighs> I was thinking that I hoped. The next episode was not gonna be this emotional, but the next episode being the final episode, I feel like it's gonna be emotional as well. So I'm like, yeah, I'm so tired of crying, man. Now I wanna cry again. <laughs> I was scrolling through the episode to see if there was anything else that I wanted to talk about, and then I come to. This image of Owen Hump with a smile on his face and he's dead and I'm like, see, I wanna cry again.
feel like I should talk about father and how I, I don't quite I don't think I quite understand what was up with him I mean he lost all the philosopher's stones and then the truth hands thingies so that brought him to the truth world and then he faced this other version of himself he's like I'm the version that you call truth God or whatever whatever and then it reminded him of when he said that the truth brings despair to humans so that they don't become considered or something and then he was also like I'm gonna give you despair so you don't become considered and he was dragged into this dark void where there was the eye there I don't know he's like I don't want to go back there I don't want to go back there so he came from there <laughs> I know I don't quite remember how it happened I know they've showed or they've said that um, it was Soheham's blood that brought him to life I guess how did that happen again like, I don't quite remember how that happened. How did his blood bring Homunculus to life? And where was Homunculus before that? You know? Like, I'm sort of still conf confused about it, but the thing is, he's gone. So, yay, he was defeated. Yay, but I'm still not quite sure that I fully understand that aspect of things. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash feeling me if you want to see the last episode early. The reaction is already uploaded there, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.